This video has one purpose, and that is for you to think about a very important question that you must ask yourself at some point in your life. Have you ever had this feeling in your gut, this little voice inside of your head that speaks to you, maybe an intuitive impulse that comes to you just kind of randomly when you're having to make a rather big decision? Maybe it's to take a risk, pursue a passion, to make a dream come true. Well, let me tell you something. That is your heart trying to talk to you to guide you intuitively on what decision that you need to make. And it's just not trying to make conversation with you. This isn't just some happenstance. This is a very real thing. Ask any one of your friends if they've ever had this feeling before. I guarantee you they will. And ultimately, it's trying to lead you towards your destiny. Now I know what you're gonna say. That's just a cliche. But I promise you it's a lot more than that. This is a real life's philosophy and it dates back thousands of years. It's like a guiding principle, life's secret rocket sauce. And ultimately, if you choose to follow your heart, it will unlock the most outstanding, amazing things that life has to offer. But hey, if you don't believe me, look at Hollywood putting out so many romantic comedies out there because if those people hadn't followed their hearts, we'd be missing out on a lot of really good movie nights. But let's take a moment to dig a little bit deeper, shall we? Picture this, you're standing at a crossroads. On the left of you is like your cushy, steady job, making the same old routine money, making the same old decisions, what do I wanna have for dinner every night, etc. okay? It's the same old routine, same old song and dance. But to the right of you is the road less traveled, if you will. This road that's less traveled ignites your deepest, passions to pursue these creative outlets that you have everyone has ultimately for their destiny it will ultimately like spark your creativity and fill you with a sense of passion and purpose i am at that crossroads of what content i want to be making on youtube and what kind of niche i'm wanting to be in and what kind of positive message i'm wanting to put out this experience is not unique it's actually something everybody has to ultimately go through in their lifetime. Now, which road are you going to choose? Which road is your heart nudging you towards? Is, th is it this like scratching feeling? This gnawing, visceral, guttural feeling that you've been having for a long time now? Well, let this video be your confirmation that you need to take the right turn and go down the road less traveled. Because I guarantee you, when you wake up in the morning, the road where you smack that snooze button, that's not the right road. Because our hearts are like this internal visceral GPS device. It's constant with this system of checks and balances rerouting your current route towards your destiny and ultimately you will get there, but how fast and how abundantly you get there depends on whether you follow your heart, follow your passions, follow that GPS. And sure, sometimes you kind of catch yourself going in spirals down wandering forest roads that's really dark, but trust me when I say this, that the scenic route is always worth it. Why? Because that's where the magic happens, my friends. That's when the unexpected and impossible are allowed to play. Routine, it's already decided, but the unexpected allows the imaginary and the impossible to be at play. But think about it rationally, though. Some of the 21st and 20th centuries, really of all time's greatest achievements, have come from people following that internal GPS system that they have inside of them, following their hearts. They knew what they were trying to do was going to change the world, and if they had listened to everyone else, then they would have just gone and hit that snooze button and gone to work that day, or made the same old routine song and dance choices. But they chose to believe in the impossible. It's literally in the word impossible. I'm possible. For example, Steve Jobs. He could have settled for one of the better desk jobs, honestly, but he chose to revolutionize the technology market and revolutionize billions of people's lives, and we have him to thank for our wonderful telephones. And Apple, he revolutionized the world with the company Apple. And let's throw an author in there, J.K. Rowling, who turned her rejection into resilience and followed her heart all the way until all of us get to experience the wonderful magical world that is Hogwarts. So who knows? Maybe the next Steve Jobs, maybe the next J.K. Rowling is sitting right in front of this camera watching me sit here ramble on and on about destiny and stuff. Just waiting 
to unleash their potential. The universe is waiting. It's knocking at the thresh. But here's the kicker, folks. If you choose not to follow your heart, you're not just missing out on awesome success. You are missing out on true happiness. True happiness. True fulfillment in life. And true purpose from finding what it is that you were created to do in this life. Along with that, the wonderful opportunities of making that decision as you travel down that path. It's like refusing to dance at your prom because you're afraid that you're going to look silly. We all look silly. It's only embarrassing if you're embarrassed, okay? Let me just give you that piece of advice. Sure, if you don't dance and you don't look silly, you're saving face in the short term, but in the long run, you don't have a wonderful story to tell your grandkids, a way to laugh with your spouse about something that happened to you that, yeah, it might have been embarrassing at the time, but it's only embarrassing if you're embarrassed. You'll ultimately just be sitting on the sidelines while everybody else is out in the real world living their best lives because they make the decision to dance, to dance. And let me tell you from experience, having lost my mom, life is too short to repeatedly just sit on the sidelines. You've got to get up and dance. So go ahead, chase that crazy dream and follow your heart to wherever it ultimately leads you. You will not regret it because at the end of the day, when you're in your casket, the only regrets you have are the chances that you didn't tank. Life is too short to have what ifs. So think about this, my fellow life adventurers. Your heart knows the way. So trust it to guide you along this way. Embrace it, exercise it, and let it guide you toward this ultimate destiny that you were created to do. Ultimately, your natural gifts, your destiny, is the thing that comes to you that has the least amount of effort to do because you're already great at it. But it has a service to humanity and it makes you feel fulfilled and accomplished in here. And who knows, maybe you'll look back one day and remember as to how this bit of advice has actually changed your life. Because I know, ultimately, me making the decision to start making these videos that I've always wanted to but I've just been too nervous to make will ultimately be the best decision I personally will have ever made. So thank you, future me. Don't doubt yourself. Have the courage to step forward and do the thing. Because ultimately, if you don't know this, the difference between courage and bravery, bravery is doing something but not knowing fear. Courage is doing something and knowing the fear but choosing to do it anyway. So think about it and create a future that is worth laughing and loving about.